Hi, I'm Dr. Tom Schell with Nouvelle Research and SecondVet.com. I wanted to kind of go over a case of interest here quickly with you guys, just as an educational tool. Uh, it's certainly one of interest to me. Uh, this is a case of pedal osteitis in a uh, younger thoroughbred. Came off the racetrack, chronic soreness of the feet, uh, tendon issues as well. So, uh, pedal osteitis is something that I get a lot of inquiries about, and it's certainly a situation to. Uh, uh, can be difficult and frustrating to manage, but um, I'll just kind of show you the progress with this guy and some things that we are toying with. So looking in front of us, we've got two x-rays. The one on the right is his right fore, and it was taken in June. Uh, the one on the left is an x-ray taken from September. Uh, this guy came to us fully shod, uh, uh, wedge shoes, clips, pads, silicone. His feet were actually in pretty bad shape, a lot of thrush, uh, dead sole. Uh, the heels were uh, broken down and had to be uh, cut and removed um, with a paring knife to help to stimulate new growth. But here on the right-hand side, we have got his initial x-ray. And what I'm going to do is zoom in here a little bit and see if I can not kind of show you guys what's going on. So what we've got here is the pedal bone or coffin bone. Um, two things to look at. Number one, looking, relatively speaking, to the distance between the coffin bone and the outer hoof wall here. Um, you can kind of see how there's a little bit of a wedge effect as we move down. So technically there is a little bit of rotation of the coffin bone. It's not really rotation of the coffin bone itself. It's laminar separation, and that's to be expected in some of these guys. But the most interesting thing is, is you look here at the tip of the coffin bone, and we have got what we call a ski tip, which is basically a bone reaction uh, to inflammation. Uh, pedal bone with extremely thin soles. Um, ongoing bruising of the bone stimulates inflammation. It's going to stir up changes in the bone cellular pathology itself. Uh, stimulates new bone growth, uh, bone changes, bone resorption, and hence the ski tip that develops here. So these are all signs of pedal osteitis in the horse. Um, stepping back and kind of looking at the big picture, uh, you know, the bones seem to be fairly good alignment, but you can hopefully see that there is separation down here, a little bit of rotation or laminar separation. So we flash forward over to here, and we've got his most recent film. And what you can see is, is number one, this ski tip, is actually gone. So I'll zoom in a little bit closer. It's actually gone. It's remodeled. We've got a little bit of a haze here out on the dorsal surface of P3, which is still inflammation. It's to be expected. It's going to remodel. Uh, but this ski tip is gone. Sole depth from this x-ray to this x-ray has gone from three millimeters to roughly about six millimeters in depth. So we've doubled our sole depth in that three month period of time. This bone change is gone. This guy has gone to about 90% soundness on soft surface. He is sound on concrete. He's still pretty tender when he goes out and walks on gravel, but getting much, much better. And you can see here that the due to the growth of the hoof down and maintaining our balance, this guy is no longer separated, maybe just a little bit still down here. He's still got some that needs to grow out, uh, but otherwise looking pretty good. Palmar angle in this guy here is about 6.7 degrees. This guy here is about 8 points, what does that say, 8.67. Um, so he's, he's fairly steep here. The heel was dead. We needed to pull that off, drop his coffin bone down a little bit to help realign things. Uh, but he's about 6.7 degrees palmar angle here, which looks pretty good. So what is the difference between these two? Obviously, we've got changes in hoof growth. We've also got inflammation reduction in the bone itself. So the bone is no longer under stress. Maybe we potentially altered that inflammatory pathway in the bone tissue itself. But there's definitely changes present. And I've never seen in my cases that I've worked with to see that bone change right there, that ski tip, I've never seen it completely resolve and go away, especially in a three month period of time. So what are we doing with this guy? Other than barefoot trimming and balancing every two to three weeks, um, he is in boots when he goes out on the gravel in between paddocks, but otherwise he is barefoot. Um, he's just on a high nutrition program. He's on our EQ Rejuvenate for nutrients. Um, he's on our EQ cool down in the morning. This guy tends to run a little bit hot. He is a much leaner horse, uh, very susceptible to the heat, and it really seems to impact him dramatically. Um, in addition to this, we're messing around with, in our lab, a turmeric oleoresin, which is basically uh, the turmeric root with the volatile oils from the root itself, um, basically put into a powdered form. The oleoresins or the volatile oils are often tossed to the side, but they have got tremendous anti-inflammatory properties. Um, with or without curcumin added, sometimes they are extremely potent just by themselves. But we've got it in a powdered formulation that we are giving to these guys, um, him being one of them. And the other thing is we're using this turmeric volatile oil combined with other fatty acids and we are painting it onto the sole of his feet. 
couple purposes there is number one the volatile fatty acids and the fats that are contained in that blend do help to rebuild and support hoof health number two they've got some anti-inflammatory properties uh, based on research and number three they based on research also have antimicrobial properties so they can be very useful in cases of laminar separation ongoing wall abscesses thrush white line things along those lines which this guy had so his feet have become tremendously uh, more stout sturdier harder the soles they've increased in depth and the bone inflammation is now under control and he is much sounder as a result so with that being said, everything is looking pretty good for this guy, so I thought maybe I'd show this case to you guys and uh, help to uh, guide you to some potential options here in the future. I hope this has helped. Thank you.